guys, thanks so much for stopping by. Today I'm going to do an overview of the two straighteners that I own right now that I'm currently really loving and finding that they work so well for me. And they are definitely two straighteners that I'd recommend to you guys, but they do two different things. So I'm just going to talk about each. You guys are probably sick of me talking about this one because I've, I've featured it in a couple of videos, but people still ask me questions on it, so I'm just going to do a kind of a comparison video and hopefully make it quick, but just kind of talk about the features on both. So this first one here is a Sudu Ionic Ceramic Pro Flat Iron, and I I personally bought this one last year and I read so many reviews on it, I watched so many tutorials on it and I I had to get it. I just absolutely love the fact that it was a wide plate and I understand why having a wide plate one is good for thick haired girls because it covers a lot of area in a short amount of time. So if you're a girl that doesn't want to take a long time on doing your hair and you have thicker hair and if you want it straight in a shorter amount of time, I would definitely suggest looking for a straightener with a wider plate like this one. And it just will really cut the time down by a lot. So um, I really love this one for that. And it gets up to 410 degrees, so it gets really, really hot. Um, that's kind of a downside almost. It gets almost too hot, so you really, really need to be careful and also use a heat tamer spray which is really really important and I know a lot of you guys have been asking me why my hair has been looking so like shiny lately in my videos it's because of this and I never like gave this credit really um, or I never really thought it was a huge deal to use a heat tamer spray until you guys have noticed too also in my videos my hair has looked a lot healthier and shinier and it's because of this and it doesn't give that brittle look to your hair when you straighten it, it kind of gets rid of all that like um, it kind of looks like your split ends really come out when, when it straightens make sure you really focus it on the ends and around the hair so that's really important and since it gets so hot you need to be careful because um, I sometimes grab this without thinking because I like getting a hand on my flat iron and just um, as I pull through it and this part gets extremely hot so make sure you don't um, grab this part but I wish there was a little finger grips part here that could definitely be a feature on there uh, unfortunately it's not so you have to be careful and just do everything from the hand and um, it's a ceramic plate so it's gonna it's not gonna damage your hair as bad as non ceramic ones would and I really really like the plates on this because it just kind of glides through the hair nicely. It's not, when you grip it, it's not um, gonna kind of fidget all the way down. It's not gonna make that jerking motion and make those dents, you know what I'm talking about? So just kind of, it just slides through really nice. And um, so I really, really like the straightener a lot. Obviously my hair today is curly, so I kind of picked a funny day to do this because I didn't straighten my hair for the first time in a really long time. I just really want to talk about the product today and just kind of show you guys um, all that it does. It just has an on and off switch. The downside about this too is you can't um, curl your hair with this kind of straightener because the ends are just too squared off. You need a rounded edge to style to kind of get those nice curls. And you can kind of style the bottom, but this is the kind, I've tried it before and it kind of makes a dented look because the ends are just so crisp and hard. So this is a straightener for medium to thick haired girls who want their hair straight in a short amount of time. So this is definitely the kind of straightener I would suggest for you. Okay, so my other straightener that I own that I'm absolutely loving is the Sudu Revolution and I just got this one recently and it's a one inch. So this is what it looks like compared to this, the width of it. So it's a smaller one. I would say thin to medium hair, uh, getting this one. I straightened my whole head with this and it took longer than the other one just because it's narrow and doesn't cover as much hair, but it still really gets the hair straight. The beauty about this one is that it straightens and you can style. It's actually called uh, a styling straightening iron. So it has those rounded edges so you can kind of make those really pretty curls. And it has the twisty, um, the flat iron twist so that you can rotate through your hair and it kind of is easier on your wrist so your wrists don't burn when you do the curling look for your hair with the flat iron. So uh, I like it too because it does have the little finger grips thing here so you can get a hand on it when you curl if you want to curl the ends. So that really, really helps me. I, I love that they have that on this. And this one also gets up to 450 degrees. So this one's even hotter than the last one. So again, this is a necessity. You need this for things that get this hot. You definitely need a heat tamer spray. It doesn't matter what kind, just definitely use one. And so 
This one I really like because, again, it has those really nice plates that just don't grip your hair too hard. It just kind of glides through really nice. So if you have medium to thick hair, I would suggest a flat iron like this guy right here. Or if you have thin to medium to thick hair and you want to style it and straighten it, this one is a great one because it can do it all. It's kind of an all-in-one straightener. So I hope this kind of helped you guys. These two I've really been loving and um, I just use them all the time if I want straight hair on the straighter side. So let me know if you have any questions. I hope this helps some of you guys. And thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!